Greetings, I'm Neon Slice, and today I'm going to be showing you the most efficient way to get the unlimited ammo for the Chicago Sweeper or Chicago Typewriter. So the way you get the unlimited ammo is by fully upgrading the Chicago Sweeper or by using an exclusive ticket upgrade at the Merchant. The ticket upgrade becomes available at the castle in chapter 7. So we have to get 30 spinels before chapter 7. So we have to complete some requests. The very first request is that of destroying medallions. So right after the first section in the village, we're going to break this medallion here. And the second one will be right here in the farm. And then we're going to move on to the next area. There are five medallions in this area. So remember, Watch out, do this uh, as fast as you can. Don't try not to get hit, but it's okay. The third one will be in this little hut right there. And then after that, we are going to uh, head back, jump over the fence and head for the fourth medallion. The fourth medallion is located on top of this window right here. So make sure you get it as fast as you can. And then the final medallion will be located right there behind the shrine. Next up, we're going to be killing some rats. In chapter two, we are going to grab our gear. Okay, it's important that you do this in this order. Otherwise, you will take a lot of damage. So we're going to grab our gear and then we're going to open this door. And then we're actually going to head back into the area with the enemy. So we took out the enemy uh, in this hallway, this big wide hallway and uh, we are going to be killing the very first rat which is next to this puddle so the rats run in circles they are determined paths that they take so that's the first one we're gonna jump over this and then we're gonna kill this enemy right here kill the rat and then kill the enemy you can shoot him with your pistol do whatever we want to him and then the final rat will be located right there All right, so the next quest is that of selling three vipers. So the vipers are those little snakes that you can find inside of boxes. So we're gonna get this viper right here, right after we get the insignia key, and then we're gonna open this door. After that, we're gonna step outside and immediately sell the viper. So on our way up to the church, we're gonna stab these emblems right here, and that will complete the grave robber request. Next up, we have the second Viper location, which is located right there, right after you blow up the enemies with the fuel barrel on the bridge. At this point, you can try getting the blue medallions at the fish farm and the quarry, but it's very, very risky. So it's up to you if you want to do that. I don't actually recommend you do this. After you get the Blasphemer's head, which is the second head in uh, chronological order, go onto your boat and as directly outside of this cave, there will be a chicken island. So this island all the way to the left, uh, you can uh, find the gold egg right here. The gold egg is part of another request, so make sure you grab it and you have room for it. I'll be taking this. Take that, and immediately after you get on the boat, there will be a large bass fish here that you need to kill. So kill it with the harpoon right before the boathouse, which is that building right there. It is located always right here. Make sure you nail it with one shot and pick it up. If you don't have room for it, uh, you can send your Chicago typewriter or whatever you want back to your storage room. Uh, so don't worry, but make sure you always have room for it. Make sure you grab the fish. After that, we're going to follow this path here to make our way to the emblem insignia so go into the cave here complete the puzzle with the heads and that's gonna be it before the giant boss fight in the merchant's room we are gonna be selling everything that we've gathered for the request so that means we're gonna be selling golden chicken eggs and lunker bass which is the fish that we grabbed and also we're gonna sell all of the vipers that we possibly have this will complete a bunch of requests in chapter 5, this part works best with Ashley and her armor costume, so please make sure you have that if you can. But yeah, we're gonna make sure that we grab this Savage Mutt request. You have to get it in order for the Mutt to spawn. So we're gonna step outside the Insignia Key door and we're gonna go right. Get the Ornate Necklace. We're gonna go down this well. This is the main village part, by the way. We're gonna go down this well, we're gonna kill this guy, stab him. Make sure that you that you kill him without getting noticed. A 
after we've grabbed everything, we're gonna go up this ladder. This is where the armor is gonna come in handy. So, if you can stealth this entire part, that's the best thing you can do. Otherwise, just run for it. Run to the left. Run through these double doors, and we're gonna go into the chief's mansion place, which is this location right here. Make sure you have enough room for everything. Combine any herbs that you have, or, you know get rid of stuff because we're going to be grabbing things that we possibly skipped. So the way this encounter works is timed. Okay. So we have to spend 30 to 60 seconds in the chief's mansion here, the, 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 the house. So in my playthrough, I had to grab the handgun ammo from here. And I also had to do the puzzle upstairs with Ashley. I actually recommend while you're waiting to go upstairs and do this area here and grab the treasure. The treasure is going to come in handy for your playthrough. I know it may seem like you're wasting a lot of time, but trust me, you have to spare those extra 20 minutes to grab all of these requests in order to have the infinite Chicago typewriter, which will help you immensely and will speed things up in your playthrough. If you're playing hardcore, make sure you save here because this is going to be very challenging. If you're playing professional, don't save. You can only save 15 times if you want a hand cannon or an S plus rank. So the dog will have spawned by the time you come out. Uh, by the way, you can't trigger the spawn to appear if you just step right back out. You have to spend a certain amount of time inside of the house. That's why I recommend you go for the treasure instead. So. We're gonna have to make sure that we have at least one or two grenades. If you don't have any grenades, go around, look for some, but um, yeah, otherwise you can just do this with your Chicago or just the shotgun. We're gonna kill this enemy in stealth mode and then we're gonna take a left right here. Grab any items that you possibly have missed. There's a, a box in this room and there's a, a there, there's another boss right here. We can jump over the fence right here and then we're gonna trigger the spawn to appear the the uh the dog by the way you can't flashbang him he will not die immediately because this is a special dog after he after we make an encounter with him we're gonna grenade him and then we're gonna stab him with our uh knife and then we're gonna take a step back repeat the process after we kill the the dog we will have completed our quest After that, we are going to be in the castle. So do everything you need to do in uh, the village area. Make sure you have enough time. Make sure you do this in a timely manner. You have to defeat the chief of the, the village and the two chainsaw ladies. So the very first medallion in the castle is located right here, right before you go up the stairs, before the cutscene with the catapults. So after the cutscene, we're gonna shoot this uh, medal right here. That's the number two. After that, we're gonna go up, 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 up on the upper level. After we kill the Plaga here in this dilapidated... I don't know what this is, but anyway, that's where the third one will be. Uh, make sure you time it correctly, otherwise you will get shot by the cannons. Kill this dude. He should go down very easily. If you're wearing the wolf's tail, it helps with kicks. Anyway, the fourth one is right there. The fifth one is directly around... If you take a 360 degree turn right here, shoot that, it's in the distance, don't miss it. And the final one will be through the hole right here with the yellow tape or whatever this is. We're gonna jump down the hole and then we are gonna go directly to the blue medallion.
So at this point, you should have 30 spinos. If you've completed every single quest, if you have the expanded treasure map, you also have a higher chance at finding spinos through the treasures that you can shoot down or, you know, barrels sometimes drop uh, rare spinos. So again, make sure you sell all the vipers and everything and we're going to purchase the exclusive ticket. And then we're going to go to the Chicago Sweeper and purchase it with the exclusive upgrade ticket. And that's it. We have an unlimited ammo uh, Chicago Sweeper, which is not, by the way, is it doesn't disqualify you from getting S plus rank. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's great. Um, it's not overpowered, as you may think. Uh, you still have to aim. You still have to kill them. Um, so I actually recommend you save up 100,000 uh, pesetas so you can afford that maximum power damage which is 1.20 uh, at this point in the game I believe that's the max uh, damage anyway at 100 uh, 1.20 for 100,000 pesetas but yeah uh, anyway let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below hopefully this helps you out with your S plus rank I'm making a full guide but you know it takes a very long time guys so yeah check out my other videos subscribe if you enjoy this kind of thing and uh, leave a like enable notifications to know when I live stream and when I upload and uh, yeah I'll see you next time bye bye and good luck